Is your Shopify store struggling with speed issues? Discover one key factor behind its sluggish performance. Imagine this, you're a customer browsing through an online store and boom, the page loads almost instantly. How do you feel? You're more likely to stay, explore and even make a purchase, right? That's exactly what a fast Shopify store does for your customers. It keeps them engaged, reduces frustration and makes their shopping experience a breeze. A Shopify store is a complex machine that needs fine-tuning in order to rank better. And one key indicators I am looking at when I'm working on such a store is the CLS measurements. CLS is such an overlooked marker, but it has a lot of impact on the ranking Google will assign to your store. I know when you're thinking about the loading speed of a store, you might think about heavy assets that are downloaded from third-party servers, but it's not always just that. Google looks at how the elements are rendered on the page and one thing it doesn't like is moving and shifting elements. I started working on a store a couple of days back and now the results are quite good. I am going to introduce some layout shift just to outline to you the impact it has on the Google tests result. So I'm going to test this three times without the CLS and let the results be displayed and then I'm going to introduce the CLS through a small script I've added. So here it is. This is happening with this amount of layout shift and just one element that has it. If you have multiple elements on the page that move and the measurement is higher, the score gets even lower. This is not only punished by the Google speed score and the poor performance your customers get. If you go to your search console under the core web vitals, you will see how CLS affects your search performance. So at the same time, you are losing organic traffic. So how do you break free from this cycle? How do you get rid of this CLS? Many times CLS happens in a split second and it's not even clearly visible to the naked eye. That is why some store owners never address it. Sometimes they even think that might be just a measurement error. Just a quick word, don't skip, I'll be short. My name is Christian and I would love to make your life easier. I offer Shopify support to brands of all sizes. In case you don't want to ever edit any code by yourself and have someone do it for you, just visit shopioso.com. Now back to the video. Unfortunately, if Google says that you have CLS issues, that means you really do. And it's not a measurement error. You just have to put your detective's hat and find it. You actually have the element outlined in the Google speed test result. If you don't recognize the element, just copy its classes, go to your page, click right, then inspect, command F or control F to search, paste the classes in there, press return, and you will be directed to your HTML tag. Once you find it, you will have to understand what is causing it to move or shift. One common cause for shifts is when you have two CSS rules that are contradicting each other. First, the element is shown on the page with one height specified in one CSS file. Then a second CSS file loads up, which has a different height for the same element. And when that happens, the element obviously changes its size. In this case, you will have to remove one of the contradicting CSS rules. If it's an app that is injecting HTML into the body of your theme, like a review app for example, then you will have to figure out what is the size of the container that the app widget needs and reserve the space on the page for the widget by adding a CSS rule that fixes the width and the height of that element. To better see the loading process, you can run a lighthouse test on the Chrome browser, go to see original trace and look at the timeline of the elements loading. There you will be able to spot most of the layout shifts happening above the fold. The reason for CLS movements on the page can vary. In my experience, it's either a CSS issue or a widget from an app that needs space reserved on the page, but there are other cases as well. If you need help identifying and fixing CLS or other speed issues, visit shopioso.com and contact me there. And that's it. If this was of any value to you, drop me a comment. If you want to see more Shopify videos, do like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.